Here is a balanced chemical reaction showing the combination of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas forming water. The question is a limiting reactant type question. With four water molecules, what is the maximum amount of water that be, could be produced? We want to look at this as a before and after, and we're going to solve this in two methods. The first method is going to be graphical using pictures, and the second one will be using our scaffold. Now, in our before picture, we have four water four hydrogen molecules right here. Now, we need some water molecules present. I'm sorry. We need some oxygen molecules present. Right now, we want to imagine that we have an infinite amount of O2 present. What is the maximum number of waters that could be produced? In this graphical method, it's kind of like a going back and forth here. If we make one water molecule, that's going to use up two. If we can make two water molecules, that's going to use up another two. So assuming an infinite amount of O2, our theoretical limit is four water molecules. We're going to solve it using a scaffold or dimensional analysis method. This graphical method is great to get started because you can kind of see how like as you use up atoms, to produce something, you know, get crossed off here. But this is nice with whole numbers and small numbers, like two, three, four, and five. But when we start having larger amounts of molecules to consider, this graphical method just doesn't seem to work. It would just take too long. So using the scaffold method, If we begin with four this was taken from the question using the balanced chemical reaction the ratio is two to two or one to one We always want to make a word or a unit cancel. So this brick is going to come down here. H2 is going to cancel. Now there's only one place for this brick to go up here. The only word surviving our scaffold is H2O, 4 times 2 divided by 2, we get an identical answer. 4 H2O molecules are possible, our theoretical limit. This is, this second method, I call it a scaffold, dimensional analysis, it's another synonym for it. Thank you.